Hello friends, it's good to see you. I'm back in my, what you might call my usual surroundings. This feels comfortable. It took me a little while to figure out how to achieve this in my new setup. But today, I wanted to make a video for you because it's been a while. There's been some stuff happening here that I'm really excited to talk about. And you know, I actually, I was just watching one of um, Freshly Charles videos and, and just listening to him talk for a little while was was it was it was a bit of of a reminder that I've been not so active lately and just wanted to come in and say hello um also hi Charles if you're watching I love your videos so the first thing I want to talk about is um is Seattle I mean I'm in Seattle now I moved to Seattle back in October and I've been here for a while um, almost eight weeks, I suppose, by now, seven weeks, and, um, I mean, it's, it's really going well, I feel like the dust is finally settling, um, and, uh, and some, and the, the, the next year, like, the, my, my personal milestones and goals for the next year are very, very much beginning to form, so I'm feeling, um, more enthusiastic about life than ever. And um, given given how much trouble I was having over the summer, it's a really nice feeling. Um, and I know I talked about depression in in one of my previous videos, and uh, but I'll say again if if you if you feel like you need to talk to somebody, please do, because if I hadn't talked, if I hadn't told somebody that I was feeling bad, there's no I, I'm sure that I wouldn't be here in the in the recovered state that I am. Um, 99% recovered, let's say. So, um, so here in Seattle is, um, one of the reasons that I wanted to come back to Seattle was, uh, there is an incredible, only one like it in the world, gender support group here called Ingersoll, the Ingersoll Gender, gender Center. And, um, it is a weekly support group, and it meets on Wednesdays, and you can find it at ingersollcenter.org. Um, and it's a uh, yeah it's it's every every Wednesday and it's two hours and you get to talk about whatever's on your mind if you're transitioning, or if you are a uh, significant other or a friend or a family member you can also you're also welcome to come, um, and if you're gender queer you're welcome to come so so all forms of gender expression are welcome, and um, and there's going to be you know people you can relate to there, so um, if you're in the area and uh, and you. Are looking for that kind of community, please come. Um, I'm there sometimes, so maybe I'll get to see you and say hello. Um, so Ingersoll puts on a yearly, um, a yearly sort of uh, dance ball thing called. It's called Snowball, and it is um, it is a really cool uh, social event. And this year. There was a special guest, a special guest at Snowball, and in fact, this guest was kicking off a series of events here in Seattle over a few days, and you may know who she is. Her name is Kate Bornstein, or Bornstein, depending on, on your mood, and um, she wrote, uh, or she, 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 she put together Gender Outlaws a while ago, um, and there's a new edition of Gender Outlaws out now, and she has been... Um, just so active in uh, in in gender expression rights um, for a long time, and uh, and so she did a little bit of reading at an event on Sunday, and she did a little bit of speaking at an event at the at the snowball, and um, and just generally was hanging out and being a really cool person. Um, she gave me this card, which I will share with you. It is my personal get out of hell free card. Um, Kate's whole thing is that she she talks about it in her book. Um, this is her book, uh, the, the one that came out before the new Gender Outlaws edition. 101 Alternatives to Suicide for Teens, Freaks, and Other Outlaws. It's Hello Cruel World. And, um, and she says basically in it, there's all sorts of stuff in here, like what can I say? It's, um, where's, a, where's a good reason? So here's number... Um, Here's number 70. You should get a makeover. 
and do that instead of instead of committing suicide. Uh, number 51, be your own evil twin, which sounds like an awesome one to me. I would much rather be my own evil twin than, uh, than be dead. Also, how do you know that I'm not already my evil twin and that I'd have to be my good twin? Think about it. What else do we have here? Just one more. Um... Um, number 33, stop fucking around and get to work. <laughs> so that's really good advice that I should, um, I should, uh, I should follow that sometimes because I'm still being a little bit slow paced with my, um, with my career stuff. Uh, but, so basically what she says is it's, it's this, we all have a free ticket to do, to, to do anything we need to do to make our lives better. So, so her message is do anything you need to do or want to do to make your life more worth living. But there's one rule. Don't be mean. So this get out of hell free card is um, do, you, do whatever you need or want to do in order to make life worth living. Love who and how you want to love. Just don't be mean. Should you get sent to hell for doing something that isn't mean to someone, I'll do your time in hell for you. Kiss, kiss, Kate. <laughs> so, I mean, I think that that's such a, a genius, genius um, piece of advice and a genius guideline. I mean, come on. Get out of hell free if you're just not mean. And I really like that because I don't like being a mean person anyway. Um... So, there was one other book I wanted to share with you. Um, this is an, uh, a recent book, Understanding Gen Transgender Diversity, um, put out by Claire Ruth Winter. And she is, I believe she's local, she was also at Snowball. And um, I picked up this book and I just cranked through the first chapter just because I just couldn't stop going once I started. And this book lays out the the difference between sex and gender and and orientation and uh and gender expression so well it lays these things out so well it's just in plain english um and yeah it's just and it's full of these awesome charts like check this out so this is like uh, your relational identity you and society and your gender orientation and your sexual orientation. It's so awesome. Um, so you should, if you're, and it's perfect for, um, for family members. Um, Claire was telling me that, uh, actually, I think it says in the foreword that, you know, through her transition, um, there were people that she would tell in her life and they would, and they would just go, Okay, we we understand you're transitioning and we support you, but what is this all about? Like, how can we help? How can we understand this a little bit better? And so she wrote this to explain everything, and it's it's not extremely dense language, um, it's not extremely small font, it's not a ton of pages, and it's what a hundred and ninety pages or so, hundred and eighty five, yeah, yeah, and uh, it's fantastic. So, um, yeah, that's been my life lately, uh, meeting Kate Bornstein and, and Claire and, um, trying to read more and not being mean and getting out of hell free if I have to. So I will wish the same luxuries upon to you. And, um, yeah, I suppose that's all for now, but I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you Saturday on Tranny Star. All right, bye.